I, I got to ask you uh, about what's going on on your show. Two yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. First of all, there were all these rumors that CBS yeah. was after Oprah to be on the show. Andy, you know that's not true. Right. I mean, by the way, I, I would like know, Oprah I, to be on this show, yeah. but it doesn't mean anybody's... I don't even know where that started. She doesn't know where it started. There's absolutely no truth to that whatsoever. That's what I figured. Well. I got to ask you this, because I, I'm such a Charlie Rose Me fan. Too. Love the guy. Me been too. interviewed by him. Me too. How do you reconcile, and you talked about this so eloquently the next morning, how do you reconcile when something, when you find something like this out about mm. someone who is your colleague and your friend who you love and care about? Well, it's very difficult. It, uh, God, I don't even. It, it makes even you hard. emotional. It, it does, and I don't want to sit here and boo like a like a girl or like a baby. But I have great affection for him, really still care about him, and just because he's done what he's what the, what he's accused of doing, I can't turn that off. I can't turn off my feelings for him. But I also have sympathy for these women, these women that are speaking up. So it's very very difficult when somebody you care about. Has done something that is so egregious to what to everything that you believe in. Can it's you tough. can you tell me then what the tone of your conversations have been with him? No, I can't. I'm I'm, I'm going to see him. I haven't seen him yet. But you've spoken. I have you yeah, spoken I've to spoken him? to him. I've spoken to him. And listen, it's just it is a bad situation for everybody all around. And I think at CBS we're still dealing with it. We're still reeling from it. But I also know that we must and we will have to carry on. I believe in Nora, I believe in me, I believe in our team, and we will carry on. But it's, it, Andy, it's very, very difficult. It's one of the worst things that's, that's happened to me in my professional career, I have to say. Wow. With somebody that you, I, I'm telling you, I care deeply about him. And, you know, with, with the, in the culture too, in the culture where all of this is coming up, the only good that's coming out of it is that everybody's talking about, it. even at CBS. Everybody's encouraged to speak up, speak out yeah. about anything that you want to do. And I think that's a good thing. When are you going to see him? I'm hoping this week. Yeah? Yeah. Are you yeah. nervous about it? No, 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 no. no. I'm not nervous. I didn't do anything wrong. Right. <laughs> no, I'm not nervous to see him. No, I want to see him. Yeah. I want to see him because I have a lot of questions. You do? Yeah, I have a lot of questions. No, I want to see him. I have a feeling you're going to ask. Yeah, I have yeah. a feeling I'm going to ask too. But it's it's difficult when somebody you care about, yeah. and, and this happens. But we will, I know that we will be okay. But it is, it's very difficult. It's a big blow for us. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here, and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.